starting out on your SEO journey but can't commit to paying for expensive SEO tools? You're in luck because in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the best free SEO tools you can use right now to get ranking results and grow your website traffic. Hey, it's Emily here from Fat Joe, where we provide on-demand marketing services and learning resources for all things digital marketing. When you're starting out in SEO or trying to execute a successful SEO campaign on a budget, you're going to need software tools to help you at different stages. The problem is that there are a lot of tools out there and trying to find which ones to use can take a lot of time, let alone trying to find the best free tools. I'm going to cover a range of free tools that you can use for SEO research, auditing and monitoring. So let's dive right in. We'll start with tools focused around keyword research because it's the foundation of every SEO campaign. Probably 80% of the keyword research ideas we generate here at Fat Joe come from free tools. We only move on to paid tools to validate ideas, compare competition data points or research search intent. First up is Google. Google offers plenty of insights just within the search results pages. Google has some great user-focused search features, which will help you generate tons of keyword ideas. Google's auto-suggest feature shows as you start typing a query into Google. It predicts various search query outcomes based on previous user search history. To see the most relevant results, make sure that you're signed out of your Google account and change your regional search settings to match your target location to remove any personalization or history that Google might show. Using an incognito or private window in your browser can also help remove personalization. Try to be really specific with your searches and play around with search intent and context as this will help you gather the most complete keyword ideas for your campaign. Related searches are shown at the bottom of the search results page here. Again, this is built on previous user search behavior and is another resource for keyword ideas. If you make an informational search query in Google, you'll also see the people also ask results feature. This gives you an idea of the common questions users are asking surrounding your search phrase. This is particularly useful because it can identify common questions your web page should answer and give you an indication of the keywords that you should use within them. Now you have a bunch of keyword ideas by browsing Google search results you can now plug them into Google's free Keyword Planner. Google's Keyword Planner tool is really designed for their AdWords pay-per-click platform. However, the information it provides will give you a lot of useful insights such as the average monthly search volume for each keyword, the competition level, and the price advertisers are paying per click, which again gives you an indication of how competitive a keyword may be. Answer the Public works from Google's auto-suggested questions, but it's a much more comprehensive tool. When you enter a keyword, it'll give you groups of different questions, neatly organized into numerous graphics, which, although pretty, can crick your neck a little if you're trying to read sideways. Thankfully, the data can be exported into a CSV file for you to then sort keyword data however you wish. Not only is Answer the Public great for keyword research, but you can also use it to generate blog topic ideas too. Next up is Ahrefs. Ahrefs is a full SEO tool suite with premium plans, but they do have a free keyword generator, which is really useful. Enter a target keyword or phrase and it will pull the top 100 keyword ideas from its database of over 8 billion keywords. For each phrase, the keyword generator displays search volume, keyword difficulty from one to 100, how recently this result was updated, and a list of common questions related to your search term. You can use this free tool to identify long tail keywords, target less competitive phrases, and isolate your search using geographic location. The downside is that you can't download the data, creating an inconvenient workflow, a common downside with free SEO tools. Let's move on to the free tools that you can use to check where your website currently ranks in Google for your keywords. FatRank is a free ranking position checker tool, which we developed here at Fat Joe. It's available both as an in browser Chrome extension or an iOS and Android app on your phone. If installed on your Chrome browser, simply head to a website you'd like to check ranking positions for, select your country here and enter the keyword here. FatRank will then instantly check where that website currently ranks and show you which specific web page ranks for that term. All keywords you enter are stored in the session report and once you've searched a batch of terms, you can export the ranking data into a CSV spreadsheet. 
The free iOS and Android app version of FatRank goes one step further and actually stores keyword ranking checks so you can monitor positions over time. Google favors quality, polished, well-written content, and there are various tools to help you measure against these factors. Grammarly is a great tool to help you write content that has no spelling mistakes and perfect grammar. We use Grammarly here at Fat Joe to ensure that all of the content we write for our clients is absolutely perfect. And it's super simple to use. Once signed up, all you have to do is either write from within the editor or paste your content from another document. It'll then scan the content and highlight issues that might need your attention. As with the majority of artificial intelligence, Grammarly can throw up some anomalies, but it's great. And nonetheless, you'll certainly see a difference in the quality of your content. The blog title generator is another tool we developed to help you create awesome blog post titles that people want to read. And again, it's totally free. To get started, just go to fatjo.com forward slash blog title generator. Once you're there, just enter your keyword here and the tool will instantly spit out 10 amazing click-worthy blog titles. You can even generate 100 more titles by clicking the option here. Again, you can expect some anomalies with this tool, but for the most part, it's really going to get your creative content juices flowing. On-page SEO is super important to get right, and I have a great free tool just for the job. SEO Site Checkup is a great tool to highlight specific on-site SEO issues. Here you just need to enter a website URL and the tool will quickly scan the site and categorize potential issues into six categories, overview, general SEO, speed, server and security, mobile usability, and advanced SEO. The security information is a great feature. It will tell you if all versions of your URL redirect to the secure version, if your mail server SSL is properly configured, and ensure your email addresses are not written on the pages in plain text. This is to prevent spammers from finding them. It even lets you email this report or download it as a PDF for free. The report contains great information that documents why the changes should be made. It's very developer friendly as well. Now we're on to technical SEO, which could be quite daunting to tackle, but critical to understand and fix issues. Technical SEO covers things like site maps, page speed, URL structure, schema, and site navigation. Google Search Console gives you an inside look to how they see your site. You can easily monitor and in some cases resolve server errors, site load issues, and security issues like hacking and malware from within the console. You can monitor search performance and ensure any site maintenance or adjustments you make happen smoothly. You can also receive notifications whenever there are platforms affecting your website's visibility in search, such as server errors, blocking of critical pages, link penalties, and more. Screaming Frog is another great technical SEO tool and has been a highly recommended crawling tool within the SEO space for many years. The free version allows you to crawl up to 500 pages of a website, which is an ideal amount for many small sites. With the free features, you could detect broken links, redirect chains, take a look at titles and meta descriptions, find duplicate pages, and more. You can also visualize the entire site in a tree visualization, which is super handy for getting a bird's eye view of a URL structure. Now here are a couple of great multi-channel tools that cover more than one area of SEO. These tools cover a variety of tasks, so are great to avoid having a load of tools pinned to your browser. If you need to know about one SEO extension, it has to be Mozbar. First, it lets you know the domain authority and page authority of a site. These are unique metrics created by Moz that estimate a website or web page's authority based on backlinks and ranking power. Moz's domain authority is arguably the most commonly used, well-known metric within the SEO community. The higher the authority, the more likely you are to rank. You can also use these metrics to compare your website's authority to competitors already ranking for your target keywords, so you can estimate the likelihood of being able to rank well. An alternative to Mozbar is SEO Quake. This extension is made by SEMrush and includes more SEMrush-related data points. You'll be able to compare metrics such as the links to the domain and the number of links to that particular page. The metrics will show different results in SEO Quake in comparison to Mozbar, so it's best to choose a tool and stick with it for consistent analysis. 
If you're just starting out on your SEO journey or are trying to rank a website on a budget, then I'm sure that you'll find a ton of value in these free tools. If you've come across other free SEO tools that you find really useful, we'd love to hear about them in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up below or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. But if you really liked it, please consider subscribing and tapping the notification bell icon to get notified when we publish our next video.